leave insert higher level maths 2020 this is paper one and this is the video solution to question eight so question eight is a trigonometry and calculus question uh, it says a rectangle is inscribed in a circle of radius five units and center o which is at zero zero as shown below let or which is x y where x and y are elements of or be the vertex of the rectangle in the first quadrant so here's or up here let theta be the angle between O or and the positive x axis, that's theta there, where theta is between 0 and pi over 2. The point or, which is xy, can be written as a cosine theta, b sine theta, where a and b are elements of or. Find the value of a and the value of b. So, what I would start with is I would start with uh, drawing this right angle triangle. So, I've just done out this sketch of it here. Um, here we have our angle theta and our radius 5. This side is x because it's along the x-axis and this side is y because it's the length along the y-axis. So if I do the sine of this angle, sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of theta is equal to y over 5. Now if I want to isolate y, I'll multiply across by 5 and that'll be y is equal to 5 sine theta. And then I can do cosine theta there as well. So cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so that's x over 5. And again, multiply across by 5 to isolate x, so x is equal to 5 cosine theta. So both a and b then are equal to 5. Part 2 then says, show that A of theta, the area of the rectangle measured in square units, can be written as A of theta is equal to 50 sine 2 theta. Okay, well, the length, of, length and width of this rectangle, if this here is 5 cosine theta, then the complete width is twice that, so that's going to be 10 cosine theta. So we can say the width is equal to 10 cosine theta and likewise with the with the height or the length this is five um sine theta so in total we have two of them so it'll be ten sine theta so let's call it the length is equal to ten sine theta so then area is equal to length by width so that's equal to ten cos theta by ten sine theta we can multiply 10 by 10 to get 100 cosine theta sine theta. Now, we want to have 50 sine 2 theta. So what we can do with this, we can get the 50 straight away by factorizing the 100 and say that the 100 is 50 times 2 cosine theta sine theta. And then if you go to your log tables and you find 2 cosine theta sine theta we can actually write that as 2 sine theta so that means a of theta is equal to 50 sine 2 theta part 3 then says use calculus to show the rectangle with maximum area is a square so you hopefully should know from your calculus um, that any the area of any rectangle uh, the maximum area is a square so we just have to do that with uh, this function so we have a of theta is equal to 50 sine theta or 50 sine 2 theta so we have to differentiate this so a prime of theta now when we differentiate 50 sine 2 theta we get 50 cosine 2 theta multiplied by 2 so that's equal to 100 cosine 2 theta 2 theta now what we do with this is we let that equal to 0 to find the maximum area so now I can divide across by 100 and get cosine of 2 theta is equal to 0 so then the cos inverse of 0 is equal to 2 theta so the cos inverse of 0 is 90 or pi over 4 or pi over 2 rather 
Um, so we'll just do it in, in degrees. Um, so I have uh, 90 degrees is equal to 2 theta. So 2 uh, theta is going to be equal to 45 degrees. Now we can also um, use in your reference angle get uh, 2 theta is equal to 270 degrees and theta is equal to 135 degrees but um, we're looking at only values between uh, 0 and 90 so we don't even need to worry about them so we're just looking at 45 degrees so if the angle is 45 degrees then we know it's a square but we just need to show this um, so we need to first of all show that this is a max so we do the second derivative which will be equal to so differentiating this here uh, differentiate cos you get minus sine so minus 100 sine 2 theta times 2 so that's equal to minus 200 sine 2 theta so then I want to sub in 45 degrees and show that this is less than 0 so let's say the first derivative at 45 degrees is equal to minus 200 sine 2 times 45 degrees and that is equal to approximately minus 178 doesn't matter what the value is really so long as it's less than zero so therefore we have a max so we've shown that we have a maximum area when this angle is 45 degrees then just to show that it's a square just um, because I'm not sure if we've shown enough yet so to show that it's a square just going to take the length of each side so 5 cosine 45 is equal to 5 root 2 over 2 and 5 sine 45 degrees is also equal to 5 root 2 over 2 so we can see that uh, this length here is equal to this length here so twice it is equal to twice it so it is a square so we can say um, that's enough there to say that it is a square and then the last part part 4 uh, find this maximum area so the area function again was 50 sine 2 theta so all we have to do is sub in 45 degrees so that's equal to 50 sine of 2 times 45 which is 90 so that's equal to 50 sine of 90 is 1 so 50 times 1 so it's equal to 50 square units And then on to part B, a person who is two meters tall is walking towards a street light of height five meters at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. Find the rate in meters per second at which the length of the person's shadow, which is X, cast by the street light is changing. So this is a rates of change question. So we want the rate at which the length of the person's shadow is changing. So that would be dl or dx dt and um, because it's x here that we're we're changing so for the rates of change we obviously split up our dx and our dt and then we have a look at the question and try and figure out what can i fill in here and here remember it's the same thing that i want to fill in and the other the only other thing that's in the question is the length of this bit here l and we have this information, a person who is two meters tall is walking towards a street light at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. So I know this L here is changing at 1.5 meters per second. So I can put in DL and DL here like this. And I know straight away that DL dt, the rate of change of this L is 1.5 meters per second. So that's 1.5 meters per second. Now I need to find dx dt. So for this, I'm going to use similar triangles. I have this big triangle here, and then I have this small triangle here. And what I'm going to do is 5 over 2. 
is equal to this length, which is L plus X over this length here, which is X. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and write X on its own in terms of L. So multiply across by 2 and multiply across by X. That would give me 5X is equal to 2L plus 2X. So then take 2x from both sides, that's 3x is equal to 2l. So x is equal to 2 over 3l. So now I can differentiate x with respect to l. So dx dl is equal to just 2 over 3. So now I can um, sub that in here. So that's dx dl. So I can sub in 2 over 3 and find dx dt is equal to 2 over 3 multiplied by 1.5. So that is equal to 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, which is 1 meter per second. So the rate of change of the shadow is 1 meter per second. Okay, that's question eight. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.